ChatGPT, Bing Chat, Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot. There are more and more generative AI tools that you can use to improve your productivity on a daily basis. But what are the differences between them? How to choose the right tool that will help you to deliver the tasks that you are working in your business on a daily basis? In this video, I will dig in to show you the main differences between ChatGPT, Bing Chat, Bing Chat Enterprise, aka Microsoft Copilot, and Microsoft 365 Copilot. You will be able to understand the differences between them, cost licensing, and how to choose the right tool to your needs. And as always, if you like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, use the comment section. Generative AI is starting to be used by users on a daily basis. If you are not using them yet, probably users in your organizations are already trying which tool can help them to achieve their goals and how to improve the productivity based on these tools. And as always, with new tools, there are a lot of new opportunities, but there are some challenges or risks that you should take in the consideration. So first of all, let's see the diagram that will show you the differences between these tools in the very high level. So first of all, all of them using large language models. So you can be sure that if you're using ChatGPT, Bing Chat, or any format of Copilot, you will have the possibility to use the prompts and to have almost natural language conversation with this AI tool that will help you to answer your questions, prepare your documents, or help you to gather some knowledge. OpenAI ChatGPT is the public service. Your data is shared with OpenAI large language models learning based on the data that you're putting there. This is very important because if your business users will use your organization data, your concurrency can get better results thanks to that operation. You can already see ChatGPT could be perfect solution for the personal use, but if you are the large enterprise organization and you want to use generative AI in the example of ChatGPT, probably there is small risk of losing some intellectual property there. If you're using Bing Chat, so native version of the ChatGPT that is included to the Bing.com, you get very similar experience to what ChatGPT offers. The main difference is that you also can use Bing Chat to search through the website. So if you will ask Bing Chat Enterprise for any results, you will get the reference to the existing internet sites that were used to provide you the answers. In this case, also the data that you will paste in the Bing Chat will be used and learned by large language models, it will be shared with Microsoft. This is the public free service, but there's no commercial data protection. If you want to use Microsoft Copilot, aka Bing Chat Enterprise, you get very similar experience to Bing Chat, but you get enterprise protection. Your data, whenever you will upload their files, pictures, text, will never be shared with Microsoft or open AI, large language model will not learn on it. Moreover, all of the data will be shared in the cache and will be erased after the session will be closed. You need to have Microsoft 365 E3 E5 licenses to have that capabilities. Microsoft Copilot is available in the web, in the Edge browser, and also as a part of the Microsoft 365 Copilot. In this case, when we're moving to Microsoft 365 Copilot, you get the capabilities of the enterprise level solution that is heavily integrated with the Microsoft 365. So you get the commercial data protection with the large language model and possibility to search through web using AI, but your data is never shared directly with Microsoft or OpenAI. Large language model is not learning based on the data you putting there. Moreover, you can extend capabilities of enterprise security features. If you're using Microsoft 365 E3 E5 licenses, you get that capabilities immediately. Thanks to integration with Microsoft 365 apps and API, 
you can ask Microsoft 365 Copilot about the data included in your Microsoft 365 tenant. Get the feedback information, the answers based on the data you stored in your Office 365 environment. When you're working with OpenAI ChatGPT, as you probably know, you have the capabilities to use prompts and ask ChatGPT about any interesting thing that you can be looking for. So you asking the question, you get the answers and you can ask anything your chat to get possible interesting feedback. ChatGPT is available for free at the moment, but if you want to use ChatGPT 4 version, which is more capable model with also DALI-E functionality, you need to upgrade to the Plus version, which costs $20 a month. One more element that is worth to mention, ChatGPT Enterprise, so Enterprise Cable Solution available for large organization, but this is not something that your users will probably use. And one more important element, large language model that is used in the current model is limited to January 2022. Probably it will change in time, but at the same time, the answers you are getting is not fully updated to the current moment in time, Plus you don't receive any references, what is the source of that data. But the tool is fully free and you can use it to get very useful feedback from ChatGPT. Another tool that gives you the possibility to use generative AI is the Bing chat. In case of the personal use, you can log in to get that data or you can just open the browser bing.com slash chat and get the possibilities about using generative AI to get interesting elements from the internet. As you can see, the main difference between ChatGPT and Bing Chat is the capabilities to get the reference. So you can generate the answers from the bing.com and you get the references to the sources of the data. In my opinion, this is great functionality because it gives you the possibility to drill down. Moreover, behind more creative option, there is a possibility to use ChatGPT4, which is much more creative and capable large language model that you can use for your tasks. And this functionality is fully free. Again, this is the tool that does not provide the capabilities of the enterprise security features. The data is shared with the Microsoft. And what is also quite important, there's no time limitation about the results. So you can use Bing chat to get the answers for the most common informations without the limitation of chat GPT. And one more comment that is worth to remind, there is a mobile application that you can download to your phone and use Bing Chat there. And if you want to extend the capabilities of the Bing Chat for the security aspect of your data, you can use Bing Chat Enterprise. This is exactly the same tool from the functional perspective, but gives you the possibility to share the data with the guarantee that it will not be shared with OpenAI or Microsoft. This is the protected model that I recommend you to try in your organization, especially if you are eligible to use it for free. If your organization using Microsoft 365 E3 or E5, for sure you should consider using Bing Chat Enterprise, which is also called Copilot with Bing. This is exactly the same functionality, which is rebranded. So you can use Copilot as a part of your organization, but remember Bing Chat Enterprise, so protected version of the Bing Chat and Microsoft Copilot is exactly the same tool with the protection of data of your organization. And the last tool on our list is Microsoft 365 Copilot. So Copilot included as a part of the Microsoft 365 that allows you to use the data in the Microsoft 365 in the context of the generative AI. 
This is the solution that brings all the goodness of the generative AI ChatGPT, Bing Chat directly to the Microsoft 365 environment. You get the answers, you get the reference to the data that you are using. You can use it in the chat model or you can switch to one of the Office 365 applications like Microsoft Word and use generative AI tools inside the Office 365 applications. It could help you to prepare the documents, the presentations, to summarize the meetings in the context of the specific Office 365 applications and also to extend and interconnect this data inside the Microsoft 365. And what is most important, all of that is fully secured. It is integrated with the Microsoft 365 using API and all security levels and access rights. And what is also quite important in the area of the Microsoft 365 Copilot, in this case, Microsoft 365 Chat, you have the capability to enable here also web content searching. So you can get Microsoft Copilot slash Bing Chat Enterprise capabilities to be working directly in the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot to dig in also through the informations across the internet. I hope this video helped you to understand better differences between ChatGPT, Bing Chat and Microsoft Copilots. As you can see, there are more and more generative AI tools available for you and for your business users. It's good to have at least high level understanding about the differences between them, use cases, and also benefits for your organization. Prepare yourself, watch also other videos on this channel that will help you to find the scenarios how you can use all these tools in daily basis but also to secure your data and secure your organization on the enterprise level. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.